Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well in today's video we're going to create this pop-up and it's a sign up pop-up for MailChimp or whatever mail provider you've got and it's going to pop up on page load and we're using the great Divi Plus plugin for this today. If I just refresh the page after two seconds that's going to pop up there we go and you can configure it so it only pops up once for people when they visit your site but i've got it regenerating for this particular one purely so i can show you what's going on okay well let's get started like i say we're using the the premium plugin divi plus for this today and you can check it out from my affiliate link below the video there's a free version as well as the premium version Right, well, let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder. Once loaded, you can go down to where you want to work. And if you notice, I've got a little line of text there which represents the actual module that I've added there on the back end when we're in the Builder mode. So you've got something to manipulate. So I'm going to actually delete that and we'll start again from scratch. Okay, well, I'm just going to add a new module. It doesn't matter where you add it because on the front end, you're not going to see it with this particular module. Divi comes as standard with all the light gray modules down here. Plenty enough to build just about any site. All the ones with the DP are the ones you get with Divi Plus and there's plenty of them and they're great. So I'm looking for the Divi modal today. DP modal. There we are. I'm going to click on that and there it is. By default, it puts in a little button. And if we look here, you want to give all of your pop ups, if you've got modal pop ups, a separate ID to make sure they don't open the wrong one. And I think I'm on about eight, so I'm going to give this 08, whatever number works for you. If you're not sure, just give it a huge number. Now, what kind of element do we want to trigger? We want to trigger on page load. And we want it to delay by, I'm going to make mine two seconds, so 2000 milliseconds. Now, here's the switch I was telling you about re render model on reloading, revisiting the page. That means if somebody, if you turn that off when somebody's visited it, once they clicked out of it, it won't pop up again. If you leave this to on, it's going to pop up every time that they visit that page. So I can demonstrate it. I'm going to leave that to on. But for practical purposes, you might want to switch that off for this one. And you can choose to close the modal on escape if you want to. It's not a bad idea. So if they push the escape key on their keyboard, it'll disappear too. Right. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to save this. And as you can see, all it's put in there is a little text to let us know where that is. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a subscribe form to actually pop up. So let's add a new module again. And for this, I'm going to use a regular Divi email opt in. So it's going to be past all the DPs. And as you can see, there's plenty of them. There's an email opt in. I'm not going to put up any different content or title, but I'm happy with it to say subscribe. As you can see, it's put it in there. I might just do a little design change there. What I'm going to do, because I'll add a background to the actual modal itself, I'm going to give our background here. I'm still in the content tab. I'm going to give it a black background color. I'm going to take the opacity down so we can see the modal image behind it when it pops up. Something like this, around about 50% there. Obviously, you do what works for you. OK, and you to make this work so you can see it on the front end, you must hook it up to an email account. Else when you go to the front end, you're not going to get any of the fields there. I've hooked up to my MailChimp account. And if you haven't got one or you're using a different one, there's plenty of them like contact, constant contact and Aweber and things here. You need to go and get an API key. And when you've not got it set up, it's going to ask you to put your account name in there for your MailChimp or whatever it is. And an API key with MailChimp. You do that in my profile extras and you can generate an API key. That's what I did here. Once you've got it configured with the name and the API key, it'll hook up to it and let you select a list from your lists that are working with MailChimp. 
Okay. I'm happy with that. I want it to system 22 subs is a list I want the email to go to. And I've got my MailChimp account in there. Next down is the fields. I only want a single name field because I find that with signups, the less information you ask people for, the more likely they are to actually fill out the form. So I've just got a simple name and email there. And you can add custom fields if you want to. Success action, display a message, success. You have subscribed or whatever it is you want your success message to say. Okay, if you need to, I'm not going to, you can add spam protection and like Google Capture and you have to register and put an API in for that. I'm gonna leave mine just as it is. I don't want any link. So I'm pretty good to go. That's the way I actually want that. So all I'm gonna do now is save this. I've got my little form there. I'm gonna save it to the library, the little round icon just to the left of the trash can there. And this will save it to my Divi library and I'll call it MailChimp sign up. Save it into my library. Great. I'm going to close this. Oh, I'm actually going to trash it because it's in my library now. We don't want it sitting on the page like that. Now what I've got to do is I'm going to go back in here and choose that layout to be popped up from the library. To, but before we can do that, we need to refresh the page so it shows up in the library. So I'm going to go down here, save the page changes, save draft, and refresh the page. Okay, we can go back down where we want to work. There's our little bit of text that lets us know where that pop-up is. We've got it. Unique number. We're going to have it on page load, 2,000 milliseconds or 2 seconds. I'm going to leave that re-render on purely so I can demonstrate it for this. Like I say, you might want to turn that off. Okay. Modal body. Content type. Divi library layout. And we just saved that to our library now. So it should be in here. And it'll be right at the bottom. MailChimp sign up. There we go. Great. And... I'm going to turn my header off, so I'm going to go into the model header or modal header. And I'm simply going to say show header no. And for the footer, I'm going to customize the footer so we've got a black bar and just a close button. Show footer yes. Button text is fine. Great. And let's go down to background. Okay, I don't need a background overlay. For the actual modal background, I'm going to use an image. You've got color, gradient, or image. So I'm going to add my image. Yep, I want it to cover, want it to be in the center, don't want it to repeat, don't want any blend, haven't got any blend. Blends if you've got a color and an image, you want to blend the two together. Model footer background, I'm going to make that black. Okay, well, let's go over to our design. And the only other thing I've got going on is a close button. So there's a modal close button. And as you can see, you can style all these things differently. So I'm going to flip custom styles a close button close button text color I'm going to make that white background color I'm happy with that to be black that's fine close button border width two picks that's fine and I want to make that white too don't want any border radius to make it round so we should be good to go I'm going to use an icon just make sure I want a little X that's what we got it on at the moment, so that's fine. Let's save, and we should be good to go. Save our page changes. And exit the Visual Builder. Now when we exit, that's going to disappear right there. And 1000, 2000, and there's our little pop-up. There's our little close button right there. The little icon we put in there. Or if they click anywhere outside, it's going to close. We'll just refresh that and it'll happen again. 1000, 2000. And there it is. 
So there you go guys, that's a great little thing to have on your site. People can subscribe, it'll pop up. Like I say, you might want to turn the re-render button off once you do it so people don't have to see this every time, but every time they visit it should pop up. Close when you're ready, and there it is. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.